So when you look at HTML, it's the language of structure and content for the web. It's very nice when content is arranged in, in a logical way so that we can uh, get exactly what we want. But what if we want to get, get our hands on something kind of specific like this language area over here? Check this out. We can use this the inspector in the browser, either Chrome or Firefox, whatever browser you use. Right click on that and inspect. Now, check this out. This hovers over that exact item. So how do we access this specific item programmatically? Well, we right click, copy, and we are copying the selector. So let's take that from the, once we copy the, the selector, that gives us a piece of string, right? And that string, well, what's the most unique identifiable thing on here? It happens to be the ID header language menu. And that's nice, but some things don't have an ID. What if we needed to get the fourth link on this nav right here? So the fourth link. Well, instead of figuring this out, kind of hunting and pecking, we can right click on it, inspect, and as we hover above the inspector, it's already highlighted. Check this out. Right click the highlighted code and copy the selector. And as you paste that out, OK, there's a lot going on there. So if you're using uh, JavaScript, you can do query selector paste that in and it gives you back that content. Okay, if you're using something like Beautiful Soup, well, that specific content, you paste that specific content as a string to Beautiful Soup.